you and the process helped our team create a $25,000 product and experience. Awesome. Okay. And I'll explain it. It's called one day book with Carrie. So think about it in the past. I was, I was scared to do this in the past where a client would have more money than time. They'd want to write a book, but they wouldn't know how. And I knew I had inside me, maybe, but I wasn't sure, the skill to sit down with an influencer for eight hours straight face-to-face -face, and map out their entire book and then hit record on Otter AI and literally write their book in eight hours. And I was scared to do this, by the way, which is flow. I mean, flow is like that stretch, right? So a gentleman comes to me and he says, look, man, I heard that you can help people write books. It, by the way, it usually took six months. And he said, I don't have six months. I'm speaking on a stage in, in about 45 days. Do you think I could get a book out? And I'll tell you what, I said, let's try it. It's called, it's, and I literally made it up on the spot. I said, it's called One Day Book with Carrie. And he's like, great, I'm booking my plane ticket. He came and it was the most magical day. And then by the way, it was so good that now a second person and a third person and the fourth person have done it. But, but it was that. So, I mean, if you, if you say, Carrie, what's the ROI of Zero to Dangerous? A $25,000 product that has now been purchased four times. So 100K. Mm. And, you know, even beyond, beyond that product, which by the yeah. way is phenomenal. And I love yeah. how you took the principles of one day month and like made them your own. Ooh, that's exactly interesting. what we want. It's exactly what we want in this program. Wow. But the clarity of which you speak about um, coming up with that product and why it's useful for people is that's also a product of doing the course. You were yeah. so clear when you said it and it was the way you were talking about it was very resonant. It's kind Ooh. of like this guy is doing what he is meant to be doing. I, that's so cool. Thank and you. I, I was listening to one of your videos. You talked about, you know, what you like to do is basically turn wisdom into wealth. Yes. Right. And so tell me more about how you extract that wisdom out of people, yes. how that, that's part of your own personal flow. And then maybe, you know, as we're, as we're kind of slowly landing the plane in the conversation, yeah. if you could tie that into sort of wisdom that you'd love to leave to our listeners as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's a scene from Inception. I don't know if you remember that movie, if you ever saw it, but he's sitting with the uh, architect and he basically says, the only time you realize you're in a, in a dream um, is when you, you know, think about that fact. And, and then the whole world starts exploding, right? And I think that that's very common about flow. So think about it for a moment. This is actually, this is really cool. Um, Stephen talks about how our prefrontal cortex goes dim hypofrontality, right? And how when you're in flow, the inner critic shuts up. If I was in that one day book, judging myself, okay, Carrie, this person invested a lot of money. They're with you for eight hours. What if you don't get it? What if you don't get it right? What if you mess up? How are you appearing right now? What is the person thinking about you? Was that a dumb question? <sighs> flow goes way down. But what I do is I've gotten to the point where I think flow, you begin to trust yourself. You just trust that you're gonna get in the flow. It's like the doctor who's gonna do a surgery. You and, and I know Stephen talks about this quite a bit where someone who's in flow and they haven't done surgery, they almost crave it. <laughs> I think he talks about them traveling, certain people, doctors overseas and, to some tropical island and they're in this bliss, but they have to do a surgery because they know that they're gonna get into flow. Well, it is that type of thing. So the one day book for me, turning wisdom into wealth for people that have more money than time, it's a, it's a trust. It's a, it's a sacred relationship where, where they fly into my city and for eight hours, I'm not, I don't have a script. 
I'm not sitting here saying, okay, I see you went to such and such a school. Tell me about that. It's literally the person and I strap on the trust and the creativity to go way off script. And whether it's Captain Sully landing a plane, a plane in the Hudson River, I've studied that concept and that situation quite a bit, but he was totally in flow. Mm. I mean, to land a plane in the Hudson River when people's lives are on the line, he was trained as a glider pilot, but whether he admits it or knows it or not, he tapped into flow. Because flow is lateral pattern recognition. And so it's like that scene from The Beautiful Mind where the individual just puts all these disparate facts and, and, and situations and then creates this immediate eureka moment that we talk about the gamma spike in, in the course. That's happening every day. Mm -hmm. So I literally love my life. Doesn't mean that depression never comes knocking. So I, I want people to realize that like you have to be self-aware. Exercise is huge. Oh my gosh. I, I get in the flow in my exercise where I'm pushing and going. So I, I cycle. I know mm -hmm. Stephen skis, but I go down different roads with different groups of people with different playlists. Um, I track it all with Strava. So there's that whole competition thing going on, self-competition. But yeah, it's a very cool life. And I can't imagine what I would be or who I would be without understanding. If what you've heard on Flow Research Collective Radio has been helpful, Please consider doing us a solid and leaving us a review on Apple, Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you are listening to this. Reviews help us connect to a wider audience so we can get these peak performance principles out to more people. 